Okay. As I mentioned in part eight, in part seven, part eight, what we're going to deal with is a blow up version. Because I want to make sure you get this. We're going to do a blow up version of this on one sheet of paper with the hip and the valley on one sheet, a new clean sheet of paper. We're going to draw all this out so you can see it nice and clear and clean. So just bear with me for a second. And we're going to get started. Okay, let's use this one here. Yeah, let's see. So what we got here, we're going to start off. Okay, this is going to represent This is going to represent 16 inches. Okay. This is going to represent 16 inches. And I'm going to do something else here. We're going to do this. We're going to do this too. All right. Now this represents the subfascia, right? Now this right here represents the valley. It's gonna double as the hip too, but you know, we'll sh I'll show you how, all right? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an inside corner a dotted inside corner right dotted inside corner all right and this dotted line here is going to represent the outside of the subfascia for an inside corner, which is inch and a half. I'm going to label this as thoroughly as possible. So everybody be able to see what I'm doing very, very clearly. All right. All right, I'm going to get this here. All right, so all right, and what I'm going to do, so this is really, really, really distinct for you guys. I want to make this, I want this to be really distinct. So there's no confusion with my lines. So I'm doing this one with an ink pen so it could be darker. And so you could differentiate between what is what. Okay. Right now I'm drawing a subfacia. Right. 
so the pin line lets you know that that's an outside corner and that's for the the hip and the valley okay and what I'm going to do is for this hip one I'm just going to make it darker with the pencil darker with the pencil is what I'm going to do all right now I want to show you what you're looking at here what you're looking at is uh, outside the dark line the pin lines are outside corners okay outside corners you put hips on outside corners all right so and I now we know that the the hip don't go all the way through the subfascia it goes up to the inside of the subfascia we know that but I just did that as a reference line okay so the the other thing that you need to take in account is that is that this dotted line here it represents the inside of the building line it's the inside of a building line okay and these lines two lines here this is they're inch and a half apart inch and a half apart and they represent the subfascia the thickness of the subfascia here and here for the inside corner and here and here for the outside corner this is subfascia and this is subfascia. I drew this one as dotted line so you'll be able to differentiate the outside and the inside corner, okay? But you can see that even on the inside corner, the hip, the, the valley, goes right to the center, just like it's supposed to. Hey, hey, hey! Sit down, Fifi. Hey, what's happening, man? Shh. Fifi. Fifi. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Fifi, come here. But anyway. So, what we have here, another dog is passing, so this is going to go on for a while. So, what we have here is we have a situation where. You have a hip, okay? But this hip also doubles as a valley because you have an inside corner. So it doubles as that too. Now, this side here is the 712 side. The 712 rafters, they go from the wall plate up to here. And from here to here is the overhang, which is 16 inches. So we're gonna draw that. We're gonna draw as much of this in here as possible. 16 inch we know that's a 16 inch overhang we know this is 16 inch overhang all right so we know from here to the outside of the subfascia is 16 inches not inside 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 is 14 and a half in is is it's 14 and a half inches, which is an inch and a half short of 16 inches. Okay. So we know that from inside to inside is 14 and a half. Let me write that. 14 and a half inches. And that's inside. Inside. Okay. But on outside to outside, of course, that's 16 inches. Right. Outside to outside is 16 inches. And of course, this is an inch and a half thickness. Same thing over here. Now, watch this. We're gonna transfer our measurements over. So we know that this right here is 11.1447. 11, 11 11.447 inches. That tank changed into feet. All you have to do is divide this by 12, and guess what? Divide this by 11 point, uh, 11.447 divided by 12 is gonna give you 
9.53 feet. Okay? Now, these two measurements represent this right here. If you hook the building line and you measure to the center for the hip, that's what you're going to have. All right? It's going to be 11.447. Just like we did over here. 11.447. Off the edge. Come over here. You square up the build up and you make your plate your mark on the top of the top plate okay that's all you're doing the next measurement you have you want to know what the measurement is from here to here all right the measurement from here to here and I want to show you how to get that again I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of extra calculation so you all can get the picture okay because I would normally I normally wouldn't do all these calculations but I'm trying to illustrate so you can see the the workflow and the math flow of how all this thing is put together so to get to find out what this different well you can't see it to find out the difference between here to here what's the length is from here to here what you do is you take this measurement 0.5 seven four and you divide it by point nine eight four divided by point nine eight four equals okay then you take this number point five eight three and multiply it times point nine five three Okay, and you got point, you got point five, 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 okay, or you can make that a six, because the next, because you can see, you can see that the next number is nine, so you got point five, 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 all right, you take that number, to find out what that is going to be in inches and you multiply it by 12 equals and it's 6.671 6.671 all right okay now that you have that now you're able to establish now you're now you know what the length is from here to here. Now what we want to do is we want to add this 16 to 11.447. Okay? And I already got that in the calculator. I know what it is. Two. Well, it's not that. Recall. One. Yeah. It's 27.447 from the center of the hip. Remember, center of the hip not the side of it center of the hip all the way to the outside of the subfascia you take that number which is 27 and 27.44 you know what I'm going to write that in here I'm going to write that in here just so nobody's confused okay from here, and I'm going to put a little circle here so you know where to start and the finishing point here is, okay? So from there to there is 27.44. 27.44, okay? We want to take that measurement, 27.44, and divide it by 16. Divided by 16 equals... 1.175 which is good because look at our measurement here 1.1714 and I got 1.175 same thing it's, 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 it's basically the same thing exact measurement so now what we do is we take this measurement and we press the inverted tangent function invert it into a tangent 
and that gives us our degrees which is 59.67 so that means and as a rule of thumb on the lowest side of the pitch that's the side that's going to have the steepest bevel angle that's going to meet the ridge I mean not the ridge but meet the hip okay so the 712 side is on this side so we're going to just reference this is 712 just so you know 712 is on this side of the of the hip and this side of the hip is 1212 there you go I'm writing as much information in here as possible so you all can get it and you can review the video and you can catch on uh, really fast so now that we have we know our degrees which is 59.76 what I'm going to do is this we're going to label that and we're going to put 59.76 pointing to the 712 side because those the bevels on that side is going to be 712 so then we're going to take this and minus it by 90 degrees because this is a 90 degree corner equals 30.23 so now we're going to for this side we're going to print an arrow 30.23 degrees okay so we know the bevels on the 1212 side is going to be 30.2023. I want to make this as legible as possible. Now, since we figured that out, now we're going to go, uh, I'm going to add plus 90 equals. Okay. Now what we're going to do with these degrees here, 59.76. And I'm going, I might as well show you how to do that over again. Take 27.44 and put it in your calculator. I already have it in mine. Recall one. We take that divided by 16. Divided by 16 equals. Okay. Which is 1.715. Okay. Then we take this measurement. And we press invert tangent. Then we press co cosining, and then we press this function, okay? And this, this right here is a unit measurement per the degree angle per inch is what it is, okay? And so it comes out to almost two inches, which is 1.985. So what we do with that is we take this number and we multiply it by 14.5 because from here to here is 14.5 but from here to here is 16 inches just like it is over here so we're going to take that times 14.5 equals now we we have established what the run is for the overhang from the building line all the way to the inside of the subfascia on the center of the hip. You, you, you hear how exact I'm saying that, right? So what we're going to do is this. Okay. So what we're going to do this right here is us looking at the the hip looking on it this right here is standing over it and looking down on it but this is a side view of it so this measurement here 28.791 okay that's inches that's from here to here as if you're looking at the rafter from the side. Now we're going to take this measurement and divide it by 16.97, which is the, the unit 
measurement run for a hip. So we're going to take by 16.97 equals and we got 1.696 inches. All right? No, no, it's not inches, it's foot. It's foot. It's foot. We already got it in inches. This is feet. 1.696 feet, okay? What we do then is take this measurement and multiply it by, we take this measurement and multiply it by 19 times 19 equals, okay? So this gives us our hip rafter tail overhang length, which is 32. Point twenty three inches. All right? That's how long. And we're going to mark this hip. H I P. All right? So that's our hip. Okay? So when we measure off for our rafter, after we met, and we're going to measure, of course, to the center of the hip. We measure another 23.23 for the overhang of the hip tail, okay? And then we make our bird's mouth and all of that. Okay, now, the next thing we're gonna deal with is the valley, the valley. Now, I'm going through a lot of, lot of extra calculations because I'm trying to show this to you but there's a, a, a way faster way for me to do this but if I do it you won't be able to understand and follow how I got my answers and all this kind of stuff so I'm trying to be as methodical as possible uh, so now let's deal with the valley now for the valley we're not going to be dealing with these black lines here okay we're going to be dealing with these dotted lines here in pencil that's what we're going to be dealing with all right so now look at this. As you can see, the bevel is still not going to change. The bevel is not going to change for the 712 side. It's not going to change. And it's not going to change for the 1212 side. The only thing that's changing is the bird's mouth. Look at this. You see this right here? That point represents the bird's mouth for a hip but this represents the bird's mouth for a valley because the valley is based on an inside corner not an outside corner you see it's not going to an outside corner this is an inside corner so we have to figure for this according to that so this is the this is what you do. We know that this right here is 16 inches. Let me clear this calculator out. Uh Okay. 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 Let's see. Okay. We cleared the memory out. So now I want to show you this. Uh we need to figure out on a inside corner, where does the hip hit? And as you can see, on an inside corner, this is still this is still the 712 side. This is the 712 side for the valley, but this is the 1212 side. You see? Because the rafters are going to be, the rafters are going to actually be going up like this. They're not going to be going like this. That's for a hip side. But for this side and this wall, it's going to be going like, it's going to be going like this. Okay? It's going to be going like that. And the 12 12 side is going to be going like this. So it, 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 it gets flipped. It gets flipped. 
Okay. But the bevels are still going to be the same. All right. So let's look at this. Uh, instead of the bevels being at the top of the rafter on a hip, the bevel is going to be at the bottom of the rafter on a valley. Just want to make that clear. So now this measurement from here to here, we already know is 6.661 inches. We know that, all right? We got a foot mark there. Now 6.671 minus 16. Let's look at that. Six point six seven one minus sixteen equals nine point three nine nine point three two nine. Okay, so we know we know right away from here to here is nine point. Three two nine. So I'm going to write that in. I'm going to bracket that. And that going to the outside. And that's nine point three two nine. And that's inches. Now, if you add this to the 6.671, it's going to bring you up to 16 inches. Let's do it. Plus 6.671. Uh-oh. I don't know what happened. Okay, let's do that over. 9.3. Plus 6.671 equals. So that's 16. So we know that we're right here. From outside of the subfascia to the center of the hip. Center of the valley. We're doing valleys now. Is 9.329. What you do now, since you know that this is 9.329. And you know from here to here is 16 inches. From outside here to the outside of the sheeting is 16 inches. What you do is this. You do, we're gonna do 16 divided by 9.329. Divided by 9.329 equals, okay? And that's one point one seven five which is good because look what we got one point one seven four okay so we we good that's real 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 super close some people will call that exact so what you do now is you take this measurement and you do the you invert it into a tangent so you second ten and of course you got your fifty nine point seven five then what you do is you press your cosine per inch unit. That's how I'm going to say it to describe it. And uh, you get 1.985. You take that 1.985 and you multiply it times... 9.929 9.329 equals and you see it's 18.52 so now what we're going to do is this Okay, so we got 18.52. And that 18.52 represents the run. The run 
for the overhang inside the subfascia to the outside of the sheeting of the inside corner for inside corner for valley okay so we got 18.52 there's there's more to this than meets the eye but we're going to deal with this right now so we take that 18.521 and we divide it by 16.97 equals and we got 1.0 oh 